conversing with these. Thank you. Conversing with these, Michelle. Thank you. Right. Maybe you have to help, help me understand the process in the mind club. The caliber first reads out the object, yeah. and then the speaker walks up. And that's the reason I'm a little confused when you're uh, right. All right, we'll, we'll do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> MIT is in the Interpersonal Communications Advanced Manual, project number one, Conversing with Ease. The objectives of the speech are to identify techniques to use in conversing with strangers, recognize different levels of conversation, initiate a conversation with a stranger, use open-ended questions to solicit information for further conversation. Thank you, Rita. Thank you, and thank you for your Again, if you haven't gotten my name, my name is Me, and this is my first speech at Next Step Toastmasters. For the next five seconds, what I would like you guys to do is think about five or six people who you claim are very good friends of yours. Let's take a minute to think about these people. And I will pick on Jennifer again and ask her who are the two or three people that come to her mind when I ask this question. Well, I gotta think about our top four of this before. Oh, I didn't <laughs> so, Miriam and cool. that's that's good. And there was a time when you approached these two people when they were complete strangers, right? And the point of my exercise being, you approach complete strangers, and over the course of time, they become good friends of yours, best friends maybe, and some do not materialize into good friends. It becomes only a scary campfire story. Your approaches don't work out well. So my, my goal, my exercise today is going to be to break it into three parts. The first part I'm going to be talking about how or what you, what you cover or what the kind of conversations you engage in with a stranger to make that stranger feel comfortable. I'm going to be talking about four different stages of that conversation where you take this stranger and you make that stranger into a good friend. The second part, Priyanka has helped me uh, enact a role here, and I will talk more about it as I come to that stage of my speech. And she's going to be a stranger that I run into here in Toastmasters. And the third is a round-robin evaluation kind of a section wherein I will ask you for your feedback. I will ask you how I could have made her feel more comfortable, more at home, and uh, increase my chances of making her a good friend of mine. So now let me come back to the first stage of my speech. The first stage is I'm, where I'm going to be talking about the four different levels of conversation you have. The first level being when you meet a stranger and then eventually become a friend. The very first time you meet a person, it is all about small talks, the common environment you're in, the current affairs, and any other examples over here that, that make this person feel at home. If that goes well, then you migrate on the second stage of the conversation, which is uh, facts is, or are you an engineer, are you a lawyer, are you a doctor, where are you from, where's your family, so you talk about facts. The third stage is opinions and viewpoints, are you democratic, are you republican, are you traditional, are you orthodox, that's the third stage. And the final stage is personal feelings, and you express these feelings with somebody who is a very good friend of yours now. And it takes time, and not every stranger will materialize into a good friend, as I said, but the idea is to approach everybody with an open mindset, with a positive mindset. You tell that that stranger is an interesting person, and so are you. So now we'll go into the second stage of my speech, where I'm going to call Priyanka over. And uh, she's going to be the stranger that I run into Toastmasters. And she is very new to me. So this will be an opportunity for me to learn more about her. Thank you, Priyanka. Did you, did you wonder, when you came over, I immediately asked you, yes. Priyanka, why do you want to enact, or would you like to enact this role with me? So this, is, this really is a second interaction. The first yeah. time we very briefly met at uh, the, education. the education seminar, and you said you're Priyanka, and when I was going to the roster, I said, Priyanka, yeah, that name sounds familiar, but I really don't know her, and this might be a good opportunity for me to know more about you. I'm noticing that you're coming here for the educational seminars, but you're not becoming a part of Next Step Ghost Masters. Yes. So, what is the reason for that? <laughs> because I have a, a rule saying you need to have intense speeches, and 
probably I guess from my questions to Anthony, but I'm not there yet. So. You're not there yet. When do you plan to finish your pen you know, speeches? Eventually. <laughs> 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 what speech are you on right now? Uh, I just gave my fourth speech uh, last Thursday. What was it about? It was about my patio garden. Is that is that what impressed you? Are you in the garden? Mm -hmm. you are, what kind of plants do you work on? Do you work on bonsais? Do you work on yeah, the ones that do survive in my yard? <laughs> <laughs> Are they bonsais or are these Oh no, they are vegetables. vegetables. Yeah, vegetables. Mm -hmm. And what kind of vegetables do you work on? Uh, tomatoes and chili seem most, most resilient to oh. my care taste. <laughs> <laughs> and are you into cooking as well? Do you use these vegetables into cooking as well? So I, when I started uh, planting these, I thought that I would uh, definitely use them and make like a lot of stuff with them. I see. But since I've plucked them, they've been like lying in my fridge and I'm hoping they don't go all smushy on me. So. Yeah, I remember my cousin, she plants a lot of tomatoes at home and she offered me some of the tomatoes she grew in the backyard. And I felt very bad not taking it and also felt bad that I could not make any food out of it. But you can just chop them off and eat them. Uh, the tomatoes grown at home are very, very different from the ones that you eat. Yeah, I see. You just have some cheese, cheese and slice. And no cheese, just, just tomatoes just and tomatoes. salt. Yes. I see. Mm -hmm. I see. That's, that's, that's interesting. What other passions do you have? Oh, that's a difficult so question. Cooking and um, assuming gardening, what other things do you uh, like? What, what were you trying to learn from those masters? To come up uh, or to express the idea in a, in a way that the other person would actually understand I see. in a short amount of time. I see. And you were also mentioning that something in relation to the word trying to present at work. Do you do a lot of presentations at work as well? No, but recently I have uh, I've had to go into a meeting where I'm not really like the lead, but I still have to like, put, put people together and get, get you know, their opinions and sort of tell them what to do you know, in a good way. I uh, so, yeah, I, I mean, I, I cannot imagine myself going and, you know, like uh, opening up in a really uh, strong way because I'm not <coughs> presenting something. I, I still want I still have to start uh, with those meetings. I see. And so what, what, what are you by profession? Are you an engineer? I'm an engineer. Yes. System integration, so does that have to be something in software? No, no, no. I'm a hardware engineer. That was just wow. the first thing that came into my mind. <laughs> are you an electrical engineer? I'm an electrical engineer. Yeah, so am I. And what company do you work for? I work for a startup company called Link Media Devices. Okay. How about you? Uh, I work for not a startup company, it's a mid sized company. Okay. It's Micro in the analog space. Okay. So you're the highly paid analog engineer. No, I'm not the highly paid. <laughs> 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 okay, you get to pay good bucks. So. Well, I'll just keep it out of that. What about you? Are you more the digital analog? Digital. Digital wood. <coughs> what do you do for them? Uh, I design. You design. So you're the highly paid design engineer. Oh, well, that, that was what I had heard when I graduated, but that's probably not the case, really. <laughs> That's nice. So thank you, Priyanka. Yes, thank and you. I'm going to leave at the second stage, where I think I am at uh, knowing the facts that she's an engineer. I don't want to quite get into opinions and viewpoints and personal feelings because that becomes way personal. <laughs> so thank you, right, Priyanka. Thank you. And oh, I would like to open up now for your feedback and how I could have done better.